Over 2,000 years ago, here among the Greek islands, philosophers sought to understand the world around them. Some thought the Earth revolved around the Sun, and others thought otherwise. Early scientists began to speculate on the sizes and the distances of the visible heavenly bodies. But most people assumed the Earth was the center of a permanent, unchanging universe. Some 20 centuries would pass before a revolution occurred in the ancient maritime republic of Venice in Italy. The revolution was the telescope. Although the telescope had actually been invented a few years earlier, it was Galileo Galilei, a teacher of mathematics, who first made serious scientific use of this new instrument. From the tallest bell towers in St. Mark's Square, Galileo showed that the telescope could spot an approaching ship hours before its sails were visible to the naked eye. But then Galileo pointed his telescope at the sky. The moon was revealed to be a new and strange world of mountains, craters, and vast plains. Jupiter had its own moons, and the Milky Way was a glittering band of countless stars. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, dubbed 2009 the International Year of Astronomy in honor of the 400th anniversary of Galileo's discovery. Saturn and the rings. That looks like it's in a textbook. That's insane. To celebrate the International Year of Astronomy, Skywatcher is proud to present this, the commemorative edition of Sir Isaac Newton's first telescope, Heritage 76. The Heritage 76 is a pointer and view telescope featuring a 76 mm precision ground mirror, two 1.25 inch eyepieces with rack and pinion focus, and an optical finder. The whole set, designed by a leading team of astronomers and optical engineers, has been designed to combine ease of use, extreme portability, and consistent performance in a highly affordable package. Just think, in a single evening you can observe the craters and the mountains on the moon, the moons of Jupiter, and countless stars, just as Galileo himself did 400 years ago.